Hi True Seekers, so the Crow 777 channel is a very special YouTube channel that shows various anomalous findings in terrestrial astronomy. I recalled seeing a video on this channel that claimed that the Earthrise picture shown here had been image manipulated to show an image and a vantage point which did not actually exist. So again, I remember seeing the video on this guy's channel that showed that evidence. YouTube does not manifest any specific results, however that relates to that topic. So I decided, why not take the image and just run it through a similar type of photo analysis the Crow 777 did way back when. You may notice here that I downloaded two images of the Earthrise. These were downloaded different published dates on the nasa.gov website. This image feature states that the image was last updated December 23rd, 2020, and it gives the name of the editor. So I took that web page and used Internet Archive to go back to the earliest instance the image could have been uploaded, which appears to be February of 2016. And so clicking on that instance, I'm left with an image that was updated July 31st, 2015, with a date on it of December 24th, 1968. And note how this date differs from the date of this image, December 23rd, 2020, but they're both in December. And so I wonder, maybe due to editing and manipulation of the image in their most recent update of December 23rd, they had to redate the image due to some type of legal technicality. I don't really know. I'm not sure if I grabbed the earliest instance last time, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this again. And so I now have that new oldest image saved as Apollo Earthrise 2. So we'll go ahead and look at this one first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the look brightness levels and yeah I don't really know what the result I'm gonna get this first time I've done this with this image I'm just recording as I go along here so first I like to go to colors do invert then go back to colors and then go ahead and hit the levels and then we'll just go to the level for input and crank it up to the max and as we're cranking it up look at the outline of the moon you see this little fuzzy hair up here on the outline. As a final little trick, I'll go ahead and put a custom date range in for Earthrise to see what the earliest image I can find that was uploaded online is. Now before I show you the results of that investigation, I just wanted to point out that the newer Earthrise photo on the NASA website is a tenth of a kilobyte larger than the older photo. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm supposing there was some reason to update various photos on the website in a way that slightly increased their size. So now we're going to take a look at this one here. Now I can't say I found anything too strange with this instance. There is a bit of an aura around the moon. This is the newest Earthrise image currently on the NASA website. And when I go ahead and, and blow out the levels for input, You get a little bit of an aura, but that's about it. And so this newer image is 1041 by 1000 pixels. I found an older version that is 516 by 387 pixels. The older version is from March 23rd, 2008. As we we're told, Earthrise is a real photo taken of the Earth from the moon's surface by astronaut William Anders on December 24th, 1968 during the Apollo 8 mission. So with the older image, when the levels are blown out, like I do in front of you here, you'll see that there is a blockiness that appears around the moon. It's a pixelated blockiness that's not seen on a newer image version. This could be significant or this could be meaningless, but I just wanted to be sure to leave this here for you guys to consider. And so there's a website called Photo Forensics. We'll see if this could be helpful to us in our analysis. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the older image. This is the basic image analysis. Take a look for hidden pixels and the all important metadata section. The encoding is baseline DCT Huffman coding. No immediate red flags here. Here's one of the other older versions of Earthrise. This one's pretty interesting. You see some stars when you hover over. That's for ELA. And we'll go to hidden pixels and we'll look at the metadata nothing concerning there 
and we'll look at strings. Um, uh oh, looks like we have a Photoshop 3.0 here. So this image was potentially modified in Photoshop. The other older image doesn't have that under string section. We'll just take a glance at the 2015 image. Here's the ELA. It's just like a little line that goes up like that. We'll look for hidden pixels. Take a look at the metadata. So there's a huge section here that's for Photoshop. So that suggests the image was edited to a certain degree. I believe NASA's official answer would be to make the colors pop to have a certain impression. And for strings, you have Photoshop 3.0. For control, I'm just going to pull a random photo from Shane's Twitter. This was the oldest photo. Here's Shane's photo. We'll invert. Here's level tick. There you go. A short metadata section. An unremarkable string section. Here's yet another Earthrise from Apollo 17, checked too with levels. So you have that enlarging effect there. Now seeing some of these images, I do wonder a bit about scale. Like is the Earth supposed to appear to be about the size of a quarter in the sky? Um, if the Earth's eight times larger than the moon, is it to appear eight times larger in these photos compared to us seeing the moon on Earth? I, I don't know, but I just kind of wonder. So this Earth looks pretty small, and Gadget shows us this perspective of the Earth rising. Here is supposedly a view of the Earth from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, so it looks like that. Um, I do have some difficulty with the topography of the moon, it just uh, doesn't look totally legitimate to me. But we'll go ahead and analyze this, this will be the final image we analyze. Whoops, can't really analyze it because it's a web P type image, uh, this file type. I did find this version from the NASA Solar System Exploration website. Now, running the levels of this image, you get the following change. It's a little bit of something going around there. So this image here uses Adobe XMP, which is a file labeling technology that lets you embed metadata into files themselves during the content creation process. Right, and I'm just going to play a segment from this episode of Crow Triple Seven just to give you his vantage point of how to detect if there's any impropriety in the image creation process. So here we go. Taken from a camera. It is unedited, untouched. And watch, I'll do a very simple thing here. I'm going to invert the colors so that the blacks become white. Then I'm going to go grab the levels and I'm going to jack them up. And notice there's a guide right here to show you where, where we expect to see the edge of the moon. So I'm going to jack the levels all the way up. And look, no artifacts out on the right side, okay? That's because this is an unedited snapshot. It hasn't been messed with. Let me back, back this off a little just so it's there you can see, okay? And that guide was meant to show you where the edge of the moon is. All right, now let's go grab this. I mean, you've already seen. Look, so I invert it, and then I jack the levels up. Look at all this. You can even see that it looks like this image was made in a different orientation and then rotated. But look at all these editing artifacts. There is no portion of this image that has not been edited. And when you look at it, it basically looks like something that came out of Lightwave or some other 3D program. But now I'm going to show you a bit. Oh, let me go back here to where to go. And so by that standard, we have problems here. I think it may take continuous comparison and contrast in order to ensure there are no exceptions to that rule. And again, the artifact. And so my main motivation for doing this video is just to teach you how you can use software such as GIMP to analyze the given record and determine if there are specific manipulations any photo image experts out there would like to offer your insights, they're more than welcome. Thanks for watching. Peace.